Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a beautiful, beautiful Tuesday morning here in Austin, Texas. As you can tell, I'm on my track. Um, as always, I am filled with gratitude. I am thankful for my blessings. I am stronger than I've ever been. Uh, today's uh, talk today, um, I'm reading a book called um, When God Winks at You, uh, where it talks about the idea that there's no coincidence in this world. Now, this is something that I have been speaking to for a while, and it was actually uh, recommended to me uh, by a friend that I just recently met. Um, I am enjoying it. Um, it's just immensely entertaining, immensely informative. Uh, it's really cool. At the beginning of the pandemic last year, um, even a little bit before the pandemic, I was thinking about getting back into shape and getting back into my fitness goals. Um, for most of my life, I've been a gym rat. So I'm in a, I'm in a gym pumping weights. And, you know, like other people who don't enjoy it, I actually love it. You can find me in there three, four hours if you let me. Sometimes I have to be forced away from it because of time constraints and things of the sort. So coming into the pandemic and knowing that uh, I have this goal that I want to set, I had to adjust my plan because all the gyms were closed. So I was like, okay, what can I do where I don't need anything? I can just go somewhere and get the work done. And the thing that was done was running. Um, I think I've said this before. I think the first time I went out, I went out to go run three miles and I couldn't even make it two miles. And in a moment there, you know, I, I kind of wanted to give up. You know, um, here's what I say. I was trying to negotiate my, with myself. And I wrote this post recently. I, I got that actually from Kobe Bryant. I don't negotiate with myself. We're going to get in and get this work. And that was the mindset. You know, this morning I came out today. Um, I think about the first one or two miles in, I was negotiating with myself. I was like, dude, I ain't even done nothing yet. I've been two miles. I was like, nah, that's not going to work. I went on, I went on, I went on. You know, I got out to a half marathon, 13.1. So I'm happy and I'm blessed with that. You know, I turned myself into a runner. And here's the funny thing about that here, runner. Um, you know, when I, when I go to places and people look at me and they're like, man, what do you do? What, what's your workout of choice? Blah, blah, blah. And now they'll be like, uh, I say, oh, I'm just a runner. And they kind of look at me and laugh and smirk and say, a runner, you don't look like you have a runner's body. You know, which is, I guess, true to some degree. I don't know exactly what a runner's body is. I do know, though, I do look different than when I would take the time pumping the weights and things of this sort. Um, but here's the thing about that. I can be whoever I want to be. And I can turn myself to whoever I want to be. And even if it doesn't look like that thing, I can do it. You know, um, I, I've been saying this a lot. There's nothing impossible. Impossible does not compute. Now I got to put the work in to get wherever I want to get, but it does not compute. Um, I'm enjoying this book, God Wink, because I think that um, as I become a, a stronger Christian, what I'm finding about is that all these things that I initially thought were coincidences aren't truly coincidences. They all sort of align with things and how things go. And uh, it's just kind of great to uh, to see that and feel that. And, and the peace and the joy and the happiness it gives me is, you know, is unmatched. <laughs> I know I had other things that I was thinking about in my run. Um, in the book today, it was a couple of things that came out to me. The present is a present. That means the moment you are now is a gift. Treat it as such. The other thing is GPS. God's 
positioning system. As long as I follow God's positioning system, there's nothing that I cannot attain. There's nothing that I cannot do. There's nothing that I cannot cease. There's just nothing. <laughs> Ain't that something? Anyway, I'm getting out of here. I gotta go get my uh, handstands in really quickly. Then get back to the crib and get my daughter off to uh, Ninja Camp. Hey, I'm at Ninja Camp tonight. I said I was gonna do this before I injured my back. Had some cartilage damage. I'm back, I'm straight. Tonight I'm at Ninja Camp tonight. I'm excited again to see Carly if I see you. Lulu if I see you. I think Rick, I may not see you, but whoever there, I'm seeing you. It's the beginning of my journey. I'm excited. Peace, love, blessings. Handstands in now.